Good morning, my name is Patrizia Vida. I'm a regulatory manager at Manica. And today I will talk about a project that is about uh, phyto extraction of copper from vineyard soil using forage plants. Our goal is uh, very ambitious, is uh, about extracting copper from vineyard soil through forage plants and the administration of rhizobacteria and a plant extract in the soil. Uh, our um, drive is a circular economy concept for farmers because we would like them to use copper, copper enriched plants to fit some categories of livestock. As you know, copper is a required supplement for some livestock diets, especially for pigs and beef. Who we are? Uh, we are a partnership of uh, three organizations both from the industry side and academia. Um, Manica will provide expertise on copper uh, because we are a member of the European Copper Task Force. So we have uh, a lot of expertise in uh, copper behavior in soil. Uh, Natural Technologies Italia um, is expert in metal extraction from soil and provides a peculiar plant extract to be used in the, in, in the field. And University of Piacenza, uh, particularly a soil microbiology unit, um, will provide soil microorganisms and the selection of the best rhizobacteria consortia for this purpose. What we have done, uh, we started uh, um, with the selection um, with literature research and our expertise of two forage plants that are widespread and abundant, naturally capable to absorb copper through their roots. One is alfalfa and one is pastuca. What we have done at the beginning of the project is um, carry out a first sampling of the vineyard soil. We measured the, copper, the total copper and the available fraction. We analyzed the rhizobacteria naturally present in the soil and selected two different consortia to be, to be administered during the growing season based on the known pathogenicity of the bacteria and the capability to enhance copper extraction uh, through the roots. This is the experimental design of the first year, 2021. Uh, we, we had four blocks uh, uh, divided into uh, two plots with the main factor, alfalfa and festuca, and seven subplots uh, um, treated differently. This is to show, show you the preparation of the soil prior to the plant sowing in spring 2021. And the experimental design for the year 2022 is slightly different. Uh, we decided to discard some uh, subplots because of uh, the results of the previous season. Um, so a picture showing uh, the pouring of rhizobacteria inoculum and the plant extract, And uh, the, um, the growing season, uh, the comparison between summer 21 and summer 22, uh, as you can see, alfalfa prevalence uh, versus pastuca is visible. And in the summer of 2022 was even more um, dominating because of the drought we, we have been experiencing in northern Italy. Um, the results we, we found, uh, just to sum up, we were able to extract uh, up to 700 gram copper per hectare uh, in 2022. Um, and looking at the soil balance, we, we were able to remove in, um, in two years 1.3 kilogram copper per hectare. That is not bad uh, because we would like uh, uh, to uh, reduce the copper accumulation in, in soil. And uh, we believe these results are quite promising. To conclude, uh, uh, of course, what we can say from this experience is that 
microbial assistant phyto extraction of copper may be a cost-effective environmental friendly technique. Results are promising in terms of extraction capacity, but uh, should be improved with further research and the refinement of the procedure. Um, alfalfa, due to its nutritional value as a fodder and its ecological value, we should remember that is a nitrogen fixing species and a honey plant recognized by the EU, could help uh, a virtuous cycle if it is used to feed livestock, limiting or avoiding mineral supplements from other inputs. And this practice can be implemented at first in those organic farms, such as vineyards, orchards, but not only, which would like to extract copper accumulated in the soil through years, and copper extracted through fodder plants may become a new research for a short and sustainable feed chain for livestock. Thanks. <laughs>